Well, first of all, I would like to say that I'm at the end of the semester and I may take a small pause so I can pass my final exams and fully enjoy my summer. So this being said, let's get into this main topic. I'm quite disappointed, guys. You know, I got into some problems with Gameloft for showing the current season decals a week or so before the patch notes were released, like a month ago or so. And even before that, there were leaks about the current but of a speed event and the cars involved on it. Basically, the leaks predicted accurately every single car and how they would be distributed between the packs and Gameloft denied the legitimacy of all these leaks. I kinda had the feeling that all that leaks were true, but since I didn't want more problems with Gameloft, of course, I decided to not to make a video about it. Now, guess what? I really, really wanted to lock the to check, which is one of the cars that were supposed to arrive based on the leaks, but Gameloft literally changed the event at the very last minute just to remove to check and put the SCC to Atara instead. The only car I was looking for was deleted at the very last minute. But anyways, let's begin with today's video. Is this current Birth of Speed special event worth it? Well, in case anyone doesn't know how those the Birth of Speed special events works, basically we have two packs on the shop. On one pack, we have the Bugatti Cento Dieci, the McLaren F1 LM, and the Ferrari SF90 Stradale. And at the other pack, we have the SCC Tuatara, along the Aston Martin Valkyrie and the Pagani Barra Air. Both packs have the same price, 90 tokens per pack, 900 uh, tokens per 10 packs, and you need between 60 to 75,000 tokens in order to max all the cars of one of the packs. And this is between 120 and 150 thousand tokens in order to fully start up all of the cars included in both packs. But wait, because there is a catch. On each of these packs, there is one main car in the first pack, the Cento Dieci, and another main car in the second pack, which is the case of the Tuatara. In order to lock both of these cars, you have to play a daily event, which you should be able to see on screen right now, and if you max both of the cars, you will be able to get the key after doing a short run. But the question is, are any of these cars actually worth it? Honestly, the F1 LM is overall more useful than the Cento Dieci in the first pack, since it's my, in my opinion, one of the best B-class cars for now with an insane top speed and nitro efficiency, which makes it even better than most of A-class cars, especially in its livestream. Cento Dieci is overall a good car for classic multiplayer with a great acceleration and nitro efficiency, but mostly on twisty tracks, since its low top speed makes it food for Nevera and other faster cars. The Ferrari Stradale is quite good once it's golden or maxed out, but again, it's not the fastest. So from this pack, this first pack, I would only recommend to go for the F1 LM if you manage to max it out. The second pack is way worse overall in terms of overall performance, basically because the Wara Air, despite its really good acceleration, has a flaw, which is the fact that it loses a ton of speed while drifting, thus making it way less useful than the McLaren F1 LM in B-Class, despite the Pagani Wara Air has a higher rank. I added a comparison video between the F1 LM and the Pagani Wara Air in the description, in case you want to check it out. The Valkyrie looks incredibly cool, but it's not outstanding on multiplayer, so it's not, not like the very best deal to go for. So what about the main car, which is the SCC Totara? Well, not gonna lie, it's absolutely insane for multiplayer, especially on Slipstream, mostly thanks to a quite high top speed, which combined with a quite decent net efficiency and acceleration, makes it a really, really good car on the right hands. But when, once again, I think that the first pack is still way more convenient if you are willing to spend your tokens in this part of speed. Despite none of the cars features are as good as the ones we could see on the previous season, uh, I mean on the previous bar, burst of speed where we could see the Bugatti Lobo and the Quenise Gemera, I have hopes to lock the to check on one of these packs if the leaks were true, which turned out not to be, until Gameloft decided to troll a bit and deleted the car. Not because the Touchek is an absolutely insane car, but because it's quite decent for classic and I really wanted to have it on my garage, which seems like will never be the case if things like this keep happening in the future. But well, there is still plenty of time until this year ends, so I assume that Gameloft will eventually release something worthy to waste my tokens on and 
uh, okay don't look at the golden apollo evo i'm driving on these races because i will hope hopefully make a video about it soon but anyways so i can properly dump my tokens the current bars of a speed event may not be the best yeah if it may be featuring the Cento Dieci, which used to be a quite expensive card to obtain but it's not like the hemerva or something like that and tuatara isn't bad either but it's not on Elite S-Class anymore, and I don't like it too much in multiplayer, or at least in Classic, because of the Kinda White Drift Radio it has, which I think could be a bit better. But it's not like it matters at this point on the, of the story, because let's remember that if you have none of these cards, none of the cards involved in the bars of speed, uh, unlocking most of them will require plenty of tokens, and the F1LM, for example, will take at least... 60,000 tokens as I said. Maybe less but ultimately depends on your luck and the drops you get so with nothing else to add that was pretty much everything I wanted to say on this video. Let me know your thoughts about these bars of speed and if you managed to lock any of these cards in the comment section and, and I will see you really soon with much more Asphalt 9 content. Goodbye guys!